Welcome back, generals. Mr. Jacobs here. At Lafayette, we want all students to be successful. Success is easy when you're following our rules. You are expected to know our rules and to follow them at all times. To help you, we have created three general expectations to serve as your guide. Together, we will ensure that our school is a safe place where everyone feels respected and where academics are always our top priority. At this time, school leaders are gonna walk you through our behavioral expectations and school-wide rules. Hi, I'm Richard Royster, Associate Principal at Lafayette High School. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Associate Principal David Scholl. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Gorski. I'm one of the admin deans. I'm excited to see you all this year. So let's get started. My name is Mr. Ward. I'm Administrative Dean and Athletic Director. Let's get started. We have three general expectations that all students must follow all day, every day, before, during, and after school. These three expectations are, make academics your top priority, safety first, and respect yourself and others. Students must attend all classes. Not attending class is skipping and you will receive consequences for this violation. When you skip a class, you are not making academics your top priority. Leaving campus without permission is a safety issue and also a violation of our closed campus. You will be searched upon your return and you may be prohibited from taking the bus home once you get back to campus. Once you have been brought to school by either the bus or a guardian, you may not leave. Students, making academics your top priority also includes what you wear to school. Here at Lafayette, our dress code is fairly simple. We want you to dress for success and be ready for the job that you want, not the job you have. Keep in mind, no hats, no hoodies, no sunglasses should be worn during the building. No clothing that has inappropriate language or imagery should be on it either. And reminder that administration has the final say on all dress code matters that come up. Students, we know you have phones, and it's okay to use your phone in school at certain times. You always have permission to use your phone in the hallway, at lunch, in the cafeteria, and before or after school at any time. However, to maintain academics as our top priority, we insist that you do not use your phone in class at any time without specific teacher or substitute permission. If you use your phone in the classroom at any time without permission, the teacher may confiscate it and turn it into the office. If that happens, your parent can pick it up the following school day. If it is a second offense, it will be following three school days. If you do not turn over your phone, you are violating district policy and disrespecting the teacher, and there are additional consequences for that. Students who refuse to turn over their phone will receive additional consequences of in-school detention or our safe room. Also, you must never be in possession of an electronic device of any kind belonging to another student for any reason whatsoever. Doing so is not honoring school safety. Students may not leave class during the first or last 10 minutes of class, as this is a safety issue. Only one student may be out at a time. Each student will be asked to sign out using our new EOS system. If a teacher asks to please wait due to instructional needs, respect this and wait. Use the closest restroom on the same floor as your class. If you are habitually tardy to class, you are not keeping academics as your top priority. You will receive one day of safe every time you get nine tardies and every multiple of nine. If you happen to be late for class, just stop at the first tardy table that you come to. You will check in using your student ID and then you will be given a tardy slip and escorted to class. Today we'll be talking about bullying harassment. Bullying harassment is something you need to understand and make sure you have all the details of what all entitles in that process. That means you shouldn't be teasing no one, making fun of anybody, make, make sure you're making positive impact in those areas and making sure that you're being nice to someone all the time. Bullying and harassment also details you being in the position of demeaning someone, humiliating someone, and making, some pe making people feel uncomfortable. Those things we don't want to happen because we want to treat people the way they should be treated all the time. If you do these things, there's a consequence with that goes about doing this process. If you find someone that is bullying or harassing someone else, you should use a stop tip line. 
the stop tip line will be in the process of being able to include all administrators and make sure that we're understanding that that has been a boiling issue and now we can be able to take the pro appropriate steps to make sure this process gets solved immediately. Fayette County Public School System has put in place things that show harassment and discrimination. That means same religion, sex, gender identity, color, origin of the person, who, who they associate themselves with. All those things can be in a part of you being discriminatory towards someone else. We don't want that at all as well. Examples of prohibited conduct include name calling, unwanted touching, making sexual comments to people, questioning a student's ability, and also just talking about person in general. So all these areas can be involved with harassment and discrimination. Now, in the process of being able to identify how we're able to solve the harassment and bullying situation, all stages of investigation have, be, have to be completed in a confidential mindset, meaning that you got to we will keep every you have to keep everything confidential between you and the administrator or you and the adult, understanding what has went on in that process. Statement of witnesses may also be needed, and we want to be able to find the truth so that we can make sure that harassment and bullying is not appropriate and not done in the building anymore. All parties have the right for appealing process with the Fayette County Public School System as well to be able to have their, their voices heard if they feel like they're not uh, being treated appropriately in this process of harassment and bullying, feeling like that we're accusing them from something that they did not do. You will make your appeal to Ms. Lindsay Wright. She works downtown in our school district and she's a, a great person to be able to work with and she'll be able to work you through the whole process of moving forward. Have a great year. Hi, I'm Ms. Howard, other known as Ms. H. A stressed brain cannot learn. So every day we're going to start with a mindful minute. Right after the announcements, everyone will sit up tall, close their eyes, take a deep breath, and just relax. By taking a minute at the beginning of each day, it helps our brain stay calm so we can respond rather than react. So sit up tall in your chair, place your feet on the floor, and close your eyes. Slow, deep breath in. Exhale it out, and just relax. We take threats of violence very seriously. Any student threatening violence toward the school or toward anyone in school is not maintaining safety first, and you will be subject to suspension, expulsion, and legal action. Threats to bomb or shoot up the school are considered terroristic threatening in the second degree and are a felony, even if you say you're just joking. Offenders shall be referred for a threat assessment, law enforcement will be included, and your parent will be contacted. Also, you may be subject to criminal prosecution, which could lead to jail time, criminal fines, or restitution to the school district or first responders. Let's just keep it peaceful out there, guys. School is not an acceptable place to settle personal conflict. This is in violation of respecting yourself and others. If you are experiencing conflict with another student, please seek out a teacher or an administrator. Include parents, call the other student on the phone, or ask for mediation, but never confront another student in this building for any reason. All profanity is prohibited. Profanity towards an adult may result in out-of-school suspension. Using profanity is also a violation of respecting yourself and others and will not be tolerated. Students, school safety is very important to us. Safety first also means not bringing any contraband to school. If a student is believed to have contraband on them, an administrative search will be conducted by two administrators checking bags, pockets, and a wanding. Students, remember, don't bring things you shouldn't have at school. Students who refuse an administrative search may be suspended up to five days. So students, make the right choice. Students, when it comes to school safety, we are required to do drills every month and throughout the year. We'll have a fire drill every month, periodic severe weather drills and earthquake drills, and two lockdown drills, one at the beginning of school and one in January. 
We want every student to honor school safety and to keep this school a safe place for all students. Keeping safety first means that even if you hear of a threat, you are expected to report it to a staff member. You may choose to use our stop tip line or you can come to the office and tell one of us here. Your name will be kept confidential and we will determine if it is a concern or not. Students are expected to not open any doors at any time for anyone. Anyone seeking to enter the building may come to the front office entrance and you will be buzzed in. We expect all students to remove hats, hoods, and head coverings of any kind so that we may easily identify students from down the hall. In the mornings, you will have to enter through one of our designated entrances where we have metal detectors and every student will be scanned through the metal detectors and bags will be searched. We want every student to feel safe and be safe. To enhance school security, every student will receive a student ID badge. These badges must be kept visible at all times. You will use them throughout the day for many reasons. You are not allowed to be in the possession of a badge belonging to another student at any time for any reason. Once our security staff is in place, we will begin using our metal detectors at the appropriate entrances. Each student must have a badge in order to enter the building and your bag will be hand searched and you will go through the metal detector. Students might be required to submit to an additional search if the initial screening doesn't pass. If you minimize the amount of metal in your possession, your screening will take much quicker and will be much more convenient to you. In order to make academics your top priority, students, you need to be here every day. However, if you are absent, you have the three school days to turn in an excuse note, either a parent note or a doctor's note. After three days, that absence is unexcused. If you are 16 or 17 and drive, a parent must still come in and provide identification to check you out in the front office. Also, if you have any extended absences, please feel free to email me and we can work it out. Lunch is a pleasant time for everyone to take a break from the productive hard work that we do in our classes every day. But we still need to keep in mind the three school-wide expectations even in our cafeteria at lunch. Most important in the cafeteria is respecting yourself and others. We expect all students to stay in the cafeteria unless they have a library pass. Wandering the halls is disruptive and disrespective to our teachers and students throughout the building. Likewise, do not come to the cafeteria when it's not your lunch time. You inconvenience our cafeteria staff and slow down the lunch for all those students who are there. Respect the lunch time of others by not interfering. During lunch, show respect to our custodians by not making any messes, cleaning up any messes that you do, and always clearing your trash and your tray. Do not leave it for others to clear. You are responsible for your own items. Delivery of outside food items is not allowed. Any delivery drivers that come to the school will be turned away and you will not get your food. This is a violation of school safety. If you are staying after school, you must continue to follow all expectations. Students must be with a supervised activity by 3.30 in order to maintain a safe building. If you are waiting to be picked up by a guardian or a parent, you must wait outside the building or in the front rotunda only. Students are not permitted to wander the building after school as this is a safety issue. All right, General Nation, just a reminder for a complete list of our school rules, you can always reference our student handbook for any and all rules, those covered in this presentation and those not. Reminder that administration always holds the right to make any final decision regarding behavioral matters. We look forward to working with you together this year to make sure our school is a safe place where all feel respected and a place where academics are always our top priority. Thank you. I thought I had it all together, but I was led astray the day you walked away. You were the clock that was ticking in my home. Changed my state of mind, but love so hard.